Welcome back. So the last time we looked through a pile of broken dulcitones, and it's time to make some progress on these. So to get a good understanding of how these work and also what parts are required, I've made a model of the action. This looks really cool and I can imagine this on a wall. It's that good. So to create this, I've created some 3D printed mounts and attached them to some wood and then taken the parts from a dulcitone. And we can see how this works, so let's go through it. In the bottom corner, we have the tine. This is held in position with a lever strap and a half circle spring. This allows it to ring out freely once excited. Next, we have the damper. This has a spring that presses onto the tine. On the other end, it has a wire and the key is pressed and this contacts the wire and this pushes the damper away from the tine. It's pretty cool, it's pretty simple. So when the key is released, it kills the note as the damper is allowed to move back and touch the tine again. So below the key, we've got a hinge with a jack on. This has a spring pushing the jack outwards and this contacts the hammer. When the key is pressed down, it pushes the hammer down into the tine. And the hammer has quite an interesting spring at the end that returns it. This action is interesting as most pianos tend to hit the strings from under or from a side and this hits it from above. So let's not delay this any further. Let's press this key and see what it sounds like. That's pretty cool. That, that works. Beautiful. So my goal here is to create 3D printed versions of each of these parts and this will allow me to repair any of the broken parts in this set of pianos. So this assembly I have created in FreeCAD and we're just going to 3D print these. I've tried to base it as much on the original part as possible, but made some changes so that it's easier to 3D print. So the first part I'm going to recreate is the keys. In CAD, I've created a 3D model of the white and the black keys. So let's print this out and see if it works. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So next we've got a jack in the jack bracket. So this is a really interesting part. If we look at the level of detail hiding in this part, it's quite cool. Right in the center, we've got a spring. Now for a full piano, imagine how much and how many parts of detail you'd have to create. It is kind of mind blowing um, and maybe why pianos cost so much. So I did come up with an interesting solution to this. So I was looking at a Wurlitzer damper this is very similar. It's got like a bracket that's attached with a spring hidden inside. And I thought it'd be much easier and cheaper if we could 3D print this all as one part. So check this out. So we've combined the whole thing into one part. By sizing the thickness and the length of the connection, we can adjust that damper force. Would this work on a piano? I, I think it would. Would it perform as well as the original? I doubt it, but it would cost a lot less to make and it'd be a lot easier. But I think we're going to try and stick with the original design for now. So I've created this CAD model and I have created a few small changes, just making it easier to kind of fit the spring. So let's print this. To make the spring, I've just got some guitar wire or piano wire and wound it around. And it seems to do the job. Let's put it together. Yeah, it seems to spring backwards and forwards. So let's stick this on the key and see if it works in the assembly. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, so next we're going to look at the hammer. So currently the design features many parts glued together. And I think we can improve this because it doesn't really add any value to us. When they made this, it allowed them to changed the geometry and it was easier to manufacture. But since we're going to 3D print this, we can just do it as one part and have no interfaces. There's no advantage now to having that round section. So we're going to make that square so that it's going to sit on the print bed. The bracket will just keep the same shape as the original. And yeah, once more, let's print this. This looks pretty cool. I think this, uh, this, this, this could work. Let's get it on the assembly. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. 
And then the final part we need to create is the damper. Um, so this is just based very much so on the original design. Let's just get this printed out and have a go. While, while working on my electric piano project, I have played with a load of wire, so coming up with some wire that's going to hold this in place is not going to be an issue. So yeah, let's assemble this, and now let's see if we've created a complete 3D printed replacement of the original action. Yeah, that seems to work pretty well. All right, well that's it for this part. Stick around, because there'll be more. And if you want to see these pianos singing as they should be, I'll see you then. Goodbye.